Hi, everyone. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for being with us on TCM as we continue with 31 Days of Oscar, our annual celebration of Oscar-winning and nominated films. Tonight, we're presenting Oscar winners for Art Direction. We just had Moulin Rouge, an Oscar winner for Art Direction for a Color Film from 1952. Up next, the winner for Best Black and White Art Direction from 1953. This is from MGM, directed by Joe Mankiewicz, my great uncle, produced by John Houseman, Julius Caesar. The film has an all-star cast, including Marlon Brando as Mark Antony, James Mason as Brutus, John Gielgud making his American film debut as Cassius, Louis Calhoun as Caesar, Deborah Carr as Portia, and Greer Garson as Calpurnian. This was a defining role for Marlon Brando, coming two years after his stunning performance in A Streetcar Named Desire. It showed moviegoers that Brando could indeed talk, not just grunt and mumble, as many believed he did through his first three movies. To be fair to Brando, the mumbled grunting worked for the characters he played. And to be even fairer to Brando, he was absolutely great in each of the movies. John Gielgud wrote in his autobiography that Brando asked him to record one of Mark Antony's speeches so he could listen and study it. Brando also had tapes of Morris Evans and John Barrymore doing Shakespeare. He listened to them every day to improve his voice and his diction. Julius Caesar was Brando's fourth movie and his third Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Of the five Oscar nominations the film received, including Best Picture, it won for Best Art Direction, going to the team of Cedric Gibbons, Edward Carfagano, Edwin B. Willis, and Hugh Hunt. From MGM in 1953, Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar director Joe Mankiewicz and producer John Houseman decided not to make the picture in color or cinemascope, believing the Shakespearean tragedy is intense and intimate, not large and opulent. The only Oscar Julius Caesar won was for its art direction. It certainly had a first-class crew there. The four-man team included Cedric Gibbons, who holds the record for most wins for an art director, 11. It's appropriate Gibbons won all those Oscars. Gibbons is credited with designing the Oscar statuette in 1928. Coming up tonight, more movies that won the Oscar for Art Direction. Next, a grand period drama from Stanley Kubrick, shot almost entirely using natural and candlelight.